Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at the workshop bandsaw, um, our trusty bandsaw. We use it all the time for cutting everything, stock, round pieces of metal, everything. Um, these last few months we've definitely been abusing it a bit too much and we've managed to crack it straight down the centre of the vice. So this is a cast iron vice, um, it's quite a heavy duty one to be fair, but we've just been hanging on this a bit too much, overloading it and we've managed to crack it. So I'm going to talk you through and show you the process of how I'd go about fixing this. I'm sure everyone's got different ways of doing it and yeah, other ways suit different people, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about fixing this. Um, we're probably doing upgrading this all, so uh, it'd be nice to get a new one, hopefully we'll do soon, but for now it's a shame not to have a functioning bandsaw, so um, yeah, let's strip this down and get straight into it. So we've split it apart now. Um, I've just taken it apart in the best way possible. So you can see we've got two halves. We've got this part here, which is your handle, and then the base, the actual sort of weightier part, which is the main vice body with the sliding mechanism here. I've just detached it here, so that's where you like sort of lead screw sat, and that's come off. The main reason I've stripped it down is purely just to clean all these edges. So I really want to get all the paint off, um, get the paint back, get back to raw metal. And then my plan is pretty much to sit this, get this cleaned, tack it in place, and I want to fit it back to the bed because I want to make sure everything's lined up. I want to make sure nothing moves. And then once I've tacked it and I'm happy that it's sitting in the place, I'm going to grind out the crack, give myself a bit more area to weld in. Um, it's not actually, crazy thick so um, I thought it'd be a bit thicker so I can kind of see why it cracked here out of all places um, you can see it's just a bit thinner and not as strong there but yeah we'll grind that out so we've got some some welds uh, and a place to put all the weld or the filler should I say um, and then yeah grind it out put it back on and I think I'll weld it in situ on that just because I can guarantee that where I weld it it's bolted in four points, it'll have the mechanism in place. I can ensure that's sliding fine before I weld it because this literally is in two pieces. There's no um, no really simple way to do this. But um, no, I'm going to clean this up um, and then I think I'm going to get ready to tack it in place.
so guys, you can see we've just tacked the vise in place. Um, I've stuck a tack each side. Uh, before that, I've preheated this area, so I've tried to heat the joint as much as as much as I can, um, just so after the welding, when it's cooling down, it's not looking to crack or anything. It's very common welding cast iron. You can weld it, think you've got a solid weld, and then as it cools, it cracks off. So you really want to slow down that cooling cycle and have the heat in it already, and that really helps. Welding this, I'm using a phosphor bronze filler rod. Uh, it's quite thin actually, it's 1.2 mil, but um, it's not crazy a crack. And I haven't, as much as I want to get more material in there, I haven't gone crazy because it's quite a weird, weird place. It's cracked, and I kind of want to keep it as neat as possible. Um, we're welding on 85 amps on the welder, just straight DC current, um, shielding gas is argon. One thing you do notice welding this is as you're, as you're welding, you can see the impurities within the cast pulling out. Um, what I'm trying to focus on is not melting the two base metals. Um, when I say two, I mean each side of it. I'm looking to, the V that I've created, I'm looking to really fill that material and not fuse the bottom together. That's where the issues come in. You're trying to add that filler and just create a bond between the two. So, um, no emphasis on just focusing on where I'm putting the heat and not putting too much into it. But yeah, well let's cool off a bit more and then we'll fix it to the bandsaw where it's going to sit, check all my holes line up. Um, it should do, like I say, the cracks go back together quite nicely. And then I'll try and get some arc shots actually welding it and show you how I'm doing this. Right guys, we've got this bolted back down to where I'm going to weld it. Um, I fixed it to this, as I mentioned before, just to make sure it's all seated flat. It's got four fixing points and this is where it's going to live, so it made sense to weld it in situ. Um, going to preheat it after this. As you can see in the last welding clip, there's a lot of fumes coming off that. So uh, safety first, I'm going to stick the old uh, Adflow welding helmet on, um, keep yourself safe, keep them fumes away. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more about this, I'm going to hopefully do a review soon on the channel. Uh, it's a new bit of kit for me, but I'm going to put some hours on this and then let you guys know what it's like. Yeah. And just like that guys, the welding's done. We've got this all welded out. Um, very happy with it. It's nice and solid. I've let it cool down. Uh, it's looking good. All we've got left to do is throw this back together. Just want to say this is my first time using the Phosphor Bronze TIG wire. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I know it's TIG brazen, but anything, it, it flowed like standard filler metal, so I can't complain. Um, as for the repair, I think Time will show. Um, let's see how long it holds out for. Uh, welding cast iron and vices is never ideal, but especially TIG brazen as well, it's not the conventional way to do it, but it suited me and my setup. So that's what we went for. Um, I'm gonna leave this here for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back soon with some more stuff, some uh, welding clamps, got some reviews coming, and hopefully a few new projects. But I'm gonna end this video on a time lapse of me throwing this thing back together. Um, see you guys later.